What up, Pink Ladies, T-Birds, just happen to be watchers of my shit. My name is Jimmy Pink, and hell yeah, I'm a motherfucking princess. These T-Birds just happen to be watchers of my shit. My name is Jimmy Pink, and I'm reviewing episode 3 of season 9 of RuPaul's Drag Race. I didn't even have to do that, because I already did that yesterday. Anywho, this review is going to be real quick. Let me take the shade glasses off. Outside of the park where they were talking about the Pulse nightclub, where I actually did break down in the tears. This episode was trash. Sorry about it. Now, full disclosure, my dude and my cousin was here. My male cousin and my dude is best friends. Um, they was here and they was talking through it, but I got tunnel vision when it comes to drag race girl. They wasn't deterring shit. Every time the commercial break was gone, I would be like, snap, snap. They would go in my motherfucking bedroom. They already knew what it was. They know this is my bread and butter. This was a fucking princess episode. Excuse the fat rolls. I don't even fucking care. Because I was drinking with them. Fuck it. For this to be a princess episode and these is drag queens and I understand it was a design challenge and they had to make shit. There was just not a lot of standout. It was just like this would be such a fun fucking challenge for me. We gonna go ahead and throw up the look goes as follow because that was my fucking character was Queen Kim and Mel Queen Kim and Mella, the butterfly queen. Um, I had a whole motherfucking storyline. She was engaged to the motherfucking prince, Na uh, Nahim's Nahim's brother, Lil Ralphie. Like I had a whole storyline going, bitch. This shit right here. I don't know what the fuck. So I'm going to go ahead and go through this real motherfucking quick. Um, Cynthia looks like Cynthia. I'm like, what, and what princess are you? Because are you Princess Cuckoo? Well, she was Cuckoolina. Yeah, because you look just like fucking Cynthia. There was nothing about that that said, I'm a princess. That was a Cynthia look. Peppermint. At first I wrote okay, but then when they had him on the main stage... Like, and I actually got a good look at her costume. I actually really liked hers um, with the flame and everything. And, like, this was, like, I, I actually really liked hers. Fair Pacifica, I literally wrote Courtney Act. Do y'all remember when Courtney Act came out when they did when she had the Republican Party and she had the blue material wrapped around with a blue bra and a goddamn starfish right here? I'm like, oh, Courtney Act. And I don't even like comparing queens, but that was Courtney Act's outfit from that episode. Sorry about it. Um, I did like Charlie's, but nothing about that said princess to me. And and I understand that Charlie is of a certain age, so she wasn't really going to be princessy anyway. But she did look good. But I'm like, bitch, you made a gold gown. Eureka, Eureka Daria, the sewer princess. I did not get that at all um alexis hashtag subway fish what fucking princess's name is hashway hashtag anything hashtag subway fish actually i did like her look except for them glued on crabs and i still don't get why it was subway fish um kimura banana lady Bitch, was your name Banana Lady and I ain't really clocked no bananas? You ain't even have on yellow? Like, you had on um, some shreds of fabric on a fucking bikini with a goddamn fur stall because your sidekick was a fucking monkey. You were Banana Lady. Bitch, to me, you looked like Bag Lady. Like, you took some fabric out of a goddamn bag that was crumpled up and stapled it to a goddamn bikini. 
Um, Nina Zathira. I kind of knew Nina was going to take a different approach because I love Nina. Nina watches the videos. Like, I love Nina. But I don't think I've ever seen Nina in a gown. So I was a little bit nervous for her this fucking episode. And I don't fucking know why. Because that bitch came out as a silver motherfucking alien princess. And I was just like, <laughs> bitch. And it was everything. I don't know how she got them prosthetic eyes. Up, but that was everything. Um, what I like about Nina, and I'm not kissing ass, but what I like about Nina is, and that's what this competition is about, any fucking way. What I like about Nina is, is if it's a challenge that's not in your motherfucking wheelhouse, you make that shit your wheelhouse. So what she did is what Nina does well. She created a character. She created a fucking look. And she did an alien princess. And I was actually. It was a good fucking job. Like I was here for it. Um, Sasha. Uglina. Okay your name is Uglina. And you put a birdcage on your head. Next. Um, Shay. Slay Kool-Aid. Slay my motherfucking soul. First of all, I love that what my mom affectionately calls the Carmen Joan dress, what we now call a mermaid dress. And it was big and it was wide and slay Kool-Aid slay. Valentina. It's Valentina. I mean, did you think I was going to say anything bad? No. But what I will say is this, and I understand this is a drag competition, but just in my mind, and I could be wrong. And even though my little pictures, I don't have one on because I don't own one. I really think of Gal. I mean, Princess Jasmine excluded. But I just really think of Gal. So a bodysuit like just threw me all the way off. That was the same thing with Eureka too. I just... That Eureka just did not connect for me. And... I'm a little tired of the hair loaf. Sorry about it. Um, but Valentina was gorgeous. Aja. Girl, your name was Princess Carson Agenda. Did somebody burn up that motherfucking hairline, bitch? That wig? That wig... Looked like I cut out a piece of fucking cardboard and stuck it on the top of my head. It was so bad. It was so bad. And you are not going to give me body, 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 body and cutouts with no titties. I'm going to need you to retire from the itty bitty titty committee tonight. Um, and then there was Trinity. I love Trinity's Aqua Pussy. The name connected with the look, which a lot of these girls look did not connect with your name for me. Um, but it connected. She did a little reveal. Now, see, she had on a bodysuit too, but she came out in the gown, and then it was a reveal. So, she just went a little bit extra step beyond. She ends up winning. I'm actually okay with that. Um, my tops were Peppermint, um, Nina, Valentina. Yes, it's real somewhere, somewhere. And Shay. And Trinity. So, um, and then the lip sync comes. And Pheromone is safe. And it's Aja and Kimora. And bitch, when I tell you I knew I didn't have to watch not another goddamn look at the motherfucker episode. Because Aja is what? A lip sync fucking assassin. She is a fucking beast. 
So I already knew from last week what Kamora did with Love Shack. I'm like, shit, it ain't nothing Kamora can do. I done seen motherfucking Aja do work. Aja is a motherfucking lip sync assassin. And what does she do? Slay Kamora dead. Girl, Slater, I don't even know if Kamora knew the words. And Kamora's so goddamn dumb, you don't know what an adjective is. But also, it's a good thing your last name is Black because you went to a funeral today, bitch. But that's it. Like I said, this is going to be a short review. I don't know what's going on with uh, VH1, but I am not getting the life that I should be getting from RuPaul's Drag Race a new season. I'm not getting the life. I don't know what's going on. The episodes have been quite lackluster. Last week, I told y'all I was disappointed in that cheer challenge. This week for Princess, uh, maybe because it was so many girls, hopefully it gets narrowed down. Like Maybe once we get rid of all the motherfucking filler queens, sorry James, um, it might get a little bit better, but bitch, I am dis and appointed. So I want to thank y'all for rocking with me. I do have a little bit of an announcement. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this over to Queen Kimamela, Butterfly Queen. Take it away, man. Hi there. So thank you so much for watching this review of RuPaul's Drag Race. Now I have something that I've been hinting at for the last two episodes. That is coming up um, with some of your other favorite YouTubers. Um, we have a little project that we are working on that is coming together. And we are ready to roll it out. So without further ado, please take the next 60 seconds of your time to check out this clip. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Perfect storm, if you will. In the door, I said it before. You ready for war? I ain't playing no more. I'm losing my religion. My vision is getting blurry. Once I black out, somebody is getting murdered. Spice of the abdomen, people steadily vanishing. Children and the best are thinking they dad abandoned them. Time to meet your maker, whoever it is you believe in. Who could be deceiving? I think you're breathing deceiving in. I'm demonstrating acute asphyxiation. Suffocate these suckers, it's nothing for me to waste them. I'm not Satan, but a devil in a blue dress. A couple of people through the loose, I'll leave you through a true mess. U.S. psychopath, American badass. Watch the kid rock the sword off to your do rag. Your brain exploding, my brain is filled with poison. No feeling and no remorse, and your life ain't important. Okay, so now that you've seen that, if you're interested, darling, um, I will include a link below to the actual video so that you don't have to keep re-watching mine. It has all of the description below, everything that you saw in the video. You don't have to stop and pause. It's all in the description. I'll send you that link. Um, yeah, but get cracking. Auditions is over May 5th, so this is for everybody. This is drag queens, drag kings, bio queens. Um, no age limits, doesn't matter what country you're from, it just matters if you actually want to participate and what it is. So, once again, Pink Lady T-Birds just happened to be watchers of my shit. Thank you for rocking with me, you know what it is. If you are not a Pink Lady or a T-Bird, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Also, make sure once you do that, that you click the bell for notifications so that you do know when new episodes are upon you. Um, also, you can check out my Patreon and as always, watch some more videos. So, say thank you. God damn, thank you so very much.